Okay, so we are going to do a day in the life of a homesteader. And this is just what's happening on today. I try to do this particular setup like once a week. So every day, so Monday through Friday, I work 5 a.m. to 1 p.m. Um, so I basically get up at 3.30, I go to work. I really don't do anything here before I go to work. So it really did not pay to show you that. Like I feed the dogs. Anywho, so right now it is like 1.30. I got home, I let the dogs out. I'm gonna feed the cats and we're gonna head out to the homestead and start our projects out yes. there. And then I'm going to see you guys out at the homestead and we will start our First thing on the docket when we get home is get them chickens let out so they can get free ranging and getting some good delicious free food. Speaking of food, uh, Willie's dinner and breakfast times are his favorite times of the day. Even, even more than snuggling. actually doesn't really listen to me. He uses cheat codes. He does his treats really good if food isn't involved. <laughs> Since I had a nice, relaxing 45 minute drive, I just get straight to work. There's not really much time to sit and dilly dally on work nights, especially like tonight. Lots has happened in the garden. This is what she's looking like. All this green, like half of it's gonna be gone. I'll show you guys in a little close up of some areas and show you how many weeds we've had. I think it's been like two and a half weeks since we weeded last, so it is pretty bad. Um, anyways, we had, the deer broke down the fence um, a week ago or so, so that's pretty disheartening. Um, lots of damage to the butternut squash, not so much the zucchini, cucumbers, um, sunflowers, and beans and cucumbers, and peppers, believe it or not. So, that little fox. Yeah, so Andy had to replace all the wire on the fence. There's that. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys what it's looking like, and our job today is to weed this whole thing. Yeah. That's an aisle. It's not vegetables. Guys. Alright, so see, we are not perfect. Our garden doesn't always look fantabulous. With the party, and then the 4th of July, and then, uh, what was I doing last weekend? Oh, my sister came to visit. With all that family stuff going on, like, we've gotten behind. So now it is time to buckle down and take care of all of that crap. So let's get weeding the garden. Didn't quite get all of it done. But we did get from here down finished. Andy changed the oil on my car and turned the fencer back on. So now But we gotta make some dinner and I really wanted to get garlic out today. I'll probably finish weeding the rest this week or if it comes that this weekend. But I'm gonna see maybe it'd be worth pulling some garlic up while we wait for dinner. We'll see. I did decide that it was going to be a good time to harvest garlic while Andy was making dinner. Um, I've been looking at the garlic going, we should probably get that stuff up and out of the dirt. 
I think it's time. We've had a really wet year, which I don't believe is super great for garlic. Um, we had a lot of variation in size. These are all large and jumbo size garlic heads. So this is our first successful year growing garlic. We tried last year and we failed miserably. We planted a soft knot garlic way far away from the house and it didn't get the attention that it needed. And we're in the north, so hard nut garlic is optimal. We just did not do it quite right last year. And I'm gonna be straight with you guys and I'm gonna share this year's disaster with the garlic because we definitely didn't do it right this year either. I'm not sure what was the thought process behind rinsing off the garlic bulbs. We do not do this with onions and I know better than this. I don't know what possessed me to do it. This is probably gonna prevent our garlic from curing properly, which might not be the worst thing because most of this garlic is actually going back into the ground so it can get replanted for next year. Then we get on to some of the monotonous chores toward the end of the evening, and one of those is taking care of the chickens, um, giving them fresh water, cleaning out their dish, and feeding them food for tomorrow. I have included a clip of Andy's milkshake bringing all the girls to the yard. On the menu for this evening is mashed potatoes, grilled sweet corn on the cob, and jalapeno popper stuffed homegrown chicken breast. We also have one very neurotic, neurotic border collie to help end this video. His enthusiasm far outweighs ours for having to go to work in the morning after such a long day. <clears throat> I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we will see you in the next one.